Hi everybody. Broken fibula two and a half weeks ago uh, uh, while playing hockey. So my skate got stuck in the ice while my body was turning. Uh, so my ankle twisted and while it was twisted, I fell on it. So it cracked. I didn't know it was cracked originally because um, I never had a fracture before. I only had ankle sprains while doing sports, but uh, you know, I, so I imagine it was either uh, a sprain or maybe the crack was a piece of equipment. Uh, anyhow, I went to the hospital and uh, got some x-rays done the following day and they said that it was a bad break. They called it a fragmented sp spiral break, so fragmented spiral break. Uh, because it was broken at different areas and it was broken in a spiral way. Um, I didn't get surgery. Uh, they told me that they would like to see if my body's going to heal properly. Looks like the bones are still uh, very well aligned, um, as you can see on those x rays pictures. And here's a picture of my uh, foot right after the accident when I was home. Uh, very swollen, as you can see. So uh, anyway, I got some crutches and came back home and uh, started the road to recovery. And uh, it's been tough because you feel useless. You need to keep your leg elevated because if you bring your leg down, then your foot gets really swollen. All you can do is really rest and let people take care of you. Um, eat supplements of calcium and magnesium, eat uh, healthy, eat a lot of vegetable, uh, spinach, um, a lot of proteins is very good uh, so anyway for the past two weeks and a half that's all I've been doing uh, for the first time about three days ago I was able to walk around with my crutches with my foot down and not feel p any pain so uh, I think it means that my bone is healing or I'm recovering uh, I'm gonna see him in about five days so hopefully he's gonna give me a uh, a, uh, a walking boot because right now I just have a cast this is what they gave me at the hospital. Um, yeah, there's a cast under that. And, uh, you know, I'm able to move my foot inside the casts, uh, you know, rotate my ankle a little bit. It doesn't hurt. Um, so that's good. Like, I wasn't able to do that a week ago. Uh, I'm able to move my foot left and right using my hands, and it doesn't hurt. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to meet the doctor in about five days and hopefully he's going to tell me that my bone is healing and I don't need surgery. If I get surgery in the, in the next week or so, then I'm back to eight to ten weeks with a cast. If I don't get surgery and the healing is good, then uh, since it's been three weeks, I probably have another three to four weeks, uh, perhaps with a walking boot, I hope so. And then I'll be, uh, I'll be able to start the rehabilitation and the physiotherapy and all that stuff. So if I want to go up the stairs, uh, there's plenty of videos online on how to go up. So usually you use your, your railing and then you use this like this and then you, you hop around like that. Uh, I, don't, I don't like it. Um, I use a different technique. So um, what I do is I just use my crutches like you're like I used to. The only question is you have to keep your balance. So you go like this, like that, and like this pretty easy and going down the stairs the same thing so we want to keep your balance put your foot in the front like this and just you know let yourself go down like that pretty easy uh, if you want to carry something with your hand um, so let's just go back a little bit here so if you want to carry something and you want to use your crutch because um, I work from home and my wife's not around to carry my stuff, uh, she's at work and my kids are at school. So how you do it is you, um, you uh, hold your crutch with the right hand and you hold your coffee or your plate and you, go, you move forward like this and you just swing your crutch under your arm like this, like that. I find that that works pretty well. Hopefully that helps with uh, you walking around the house with your crutches. Uh, but I would recommend you don't walk too much when you have a broken fibula. Uh, you want to wait until you feel a lot better. So if you're okay after a couple of weeks, then 
no problem, but uh, if your leg gets swollen fast when it's down, you want to keep it elevated until the uh, pain goes away and when the pain is, is gone after a few weeks, then you can start uh, moving around. Now the question is, should I put some weight on your, should I put some weight on the fibula? Uh, I'm not a doctor, but uh, I've been reading a lot about the fact that it's not a weight bearing bone. It only uh, holds about 17% of your weight. Um, so some people go ahead and do it after a few weeks, even after surgery. Uh, and some other doctors recommend you don't put any weight on it. So pff, my advice is just talk to your doctor and ask him the question. Uh, if he says it's fine, um, then go ahead and do it. I'm gonna go in about five days to go see my doctor and hopefully he's gonna say that my bone is healing well and I don't need surgery. So I'll do another video in about a week just to let you know if I needed surgery or not. All right, so uh, take care guys, bye.